skin is aging just like the rest of your body is aging as time passes. Botox can help in the acute setting, but it's not doing anything to slow down the aging process. And what causes your skin to age? There's 10, maybe arguably like 12 hallmarks of aging now. I'm not going to list all 12 of them, but let's list a few of them. Like mitochondrial dysfunction, senescence associated secretary phenotype, SASP. This is a long word, but it basically just means chronic inflammation. Stem cell exhaustion, where stem cells become exhausted and they can't repair as much. Oxidative stress, gut dysbiosis. But essentially, they're just all these hallmarks that are consistent in almost every chronic disease because aging is the most complex chronic disease and there's a huge investment of research going into solving aging because if we can solve aging we can actually treat a lot of chronic illness because aging is the most complex form of it and the hallmarks that underlie aging also underlie how your skin ages, why you start getting heart disease as you get older, why you get neurodegenerative conditions as you get older. They're all the same like underlying similar dysfunctional patterns. So in the skin, understand that, okay, it's because mitochondria aren't functioning well, it's because you get this chronic inflammation, you get all these free radicals that build up from sun damage and exposure. So what can you do to actually target those mechanisms? So that's what we're going after. So it's not like we're just trying to say, okay, make the skin look good and come back in three months. We're trying to yeah. not only slow down signs of aging, but it may not be like, you know, you because some people expect like, oh, I'm going to get the facial and I'm going to look 10 years younger. Like it may take it takes time. But the biggest thing is it's going to slow down the skin aging process.